Our Ashanti Regional Correspondent, uh, Kofi Edudonfe, has um, Dr. Edward Brenner, a political science lecturer, with him. I will be putting a few questions to him with regard to how he assesses these names that have come up. Do of course, uh, yesterday came out with 10 nominees for the position of um, regional ministers. Of course, this brings to the total 47 of cabinet, um, other ministers, and um, uh, ministers of state. Now, we've been joined on here at the KNUS by Dr. Uh, Edward Brenner, a political lecturer and a scientist here at the KNUS to shed more light on uh, the new 10 uh, nominees that have been announced by, by, by the uh, president. Thank you, sir, for joining us on um, Midday Live. Now, the president has actually touted um, the leadership and uh, qualities of these nominees. And according to him, this is what he needs to drive development in the various regions. You will see the credentials as the president has spelled out among the 10 that have been announced uh, really what we need to drive development at uh, the regional level. Um, good afternoon and uh, on your question. Absolutely. I, I would not say anything in disagreement with what the president said when it comes to these individuals that has so far been nominated for the uh, regional ministerial positions as well as other um, ministers of the um, various portfolios. I think that if you look at what the president intends to do at the regional level, uh, his agenda of getting a million uh, dollars to each constituencies and the one district, one factory agenda, I think it is very important, as he rightly said, that the president gets someone who is very conversant with the, uh, the dynamics of the region and who sort of has stayed within the region and understand the politics and the politicking in the region so as to be able to get individuals to support this initiative. And I totally agree with the president when he said that he thinks that he believes he's gotten the right caliber of people to do this job. But I must say that among the six uh, minist new ministerial portfolio that were announced by the president is that of uh, the Minister for Na Regional Reorientation and Development. Don't you think we should rather be driving um, the direction of regions along this new um, ministerial portfolio other than having um, additional ministers for all the 10 regions? If you uh, listen to the president's explanation for the regional reorganization, he talks about the fact that, for instance, when he, um, the nominee for the voter region, he talks about the fact that this is an individual who knows the region, this is the individual who may help in an effort to, um, um, in achieving his effort of dividing the region. He says same when he talks about the western region, that um, a, um, the minister designate who has been a one-time minister at the national level and who has also served as a member of parliament, serves as a member of parliament, knows the region very well, he believes will be the one to put this agenda. And I, I think that he's right when he says that because um, if we are looking at what started with President Rawlings, which was bringing in someone from outside the region to um, man affairs in the region, someone who is not an indigent, uh, which was continued by President Mahama, you might see that when it comes to things like this, it might create a lot of problems. You need an individual who knows the terrain, who knows the politics, who knows some of the things that goes around to do this. And I think um, President Nana Kufadu got it right when he brings indigents to lead this agenda. So, so just to reiterate, the fact that uh, I remember very well when uh, the, the past administration, of course, moved some ministers from this region to other regions with the orientation that they need to also drive development in regions other than uh, their native uh, regions. You were saying that this uh, scheme is not the right to, to, to pursue. Absolutely not. I wouldn't say that. It depends on the agenda of the president. If we look at the time that um, ex-president Rawlings did that, ex-president Rawlings was trying to force some sort of national unity by bringing people outside the region. Let's be careful or mindful of the agenda of the president. We know that even though... Uh, President Nana Kufuado is talking about the fact that an indigent will be the right person to champion his um, agenda of helping to, um, one, develop the one district, one factory, um, the one million for one constituency and turning that into a job. There could be the backlash, especially in regions where they have division and tribal issues. If then individual 
it seems to have been coming from one or affiliated to one tribe, it creates a problem for the other group. So definitely, it could be a backlight. But at that time, both uh, ex-president Rollins and ex-president Mama was trying to say that, well, it's about, if it's about regional integration, if it's about um, unity, I can bring someone from outside and help drive this without having to, some of those backlines. Each of them had the agenda, and they used the appointment of ministers to promote the agenda. For what Nana Akufuado is doing right now, he believes strongly that an individual who can liaise with the people within, an individual who understands the politics, an individual who already has some level of leverage with individuals will help it to move his agenda and also to get his uh, division of, I mean, creation of division, um, regions done. Thank you very much. You heard Dr. Edward Brenya, who, of course, is a political scientist and lecturer here at the KNUSD. Over to you, Martin, in the studios. Thank you very much, Makofi um, Edudonfe.